What is up everybody, Angry Grandpa with another video. Today we're gonna talk about uh, part 6, which is gonna be tanks I would like to see in the game in the near future, uh, mainly in Armory Warfare. And today we have a tank that I spoke about it in my last uh, video about fixing tech tree of the AAV lines. Obviously it's been some tanks that I haven't put them there, but um, the most ones that fitted the well it was a version of this version of bradley but one with a different type of an armor different turret different commander hatch different antennas atgm launcher and um, different specs but i sat and uh, think about it uh, this tank i put it at tier 9 because at tier 8 is good and even a tier 9 can be a good tank i was wondering how it will be to have a version of a bradley at tier 10 if we go to vehicles and uh, to Sophie Wolfley and skip it down to this tech tree, you may see that I moved some tanks uh, in my tech tree where I put it some tanks here and there and Bradley was a tier 9 and a tier 10 it was that Bradley that I said earlier. But I have another version of a Bradley in, in my vision of a tier 10. Sadly in this game we have also another problem. When you play in the battle path and you have to do some missions, especially like this one, net experience with Sophie Wolfley, AOV line. You can play on Sophie Wolfley just with three tanks at tier 8. At tier 9 you have just Crab and at tier 10 you have just Sphinx. And this is it. And let's say if you play with Sphinx several matches, okay it's fine, but then you get bored and not always you tend to do a lot of damage because this tank can take a lot of beating and even a blow up the m3 bradley cavalry fighting vehicle is virtually identical to the m2 bradley except that is equipped as a cavalry slash scout vehicle instead of holding six infantry men in the payload compartment it is designed to seat two scouts and hold additional radios and ammunition so the bradley that we have in the game it seems like uh, it has the capacity of holding six infantry men it can be two or three uh, snipers or mortars and 680 squad even more than as21 in march 1995 the boeing company was awarded a contract by the u.s army missile command for the integration of the stinger missile launch system on the u.s army bradley fighting vehicle this vehicle is called the bradley m6 linebacker and it's designed to provide short range air defense short hat, day and night on all weather conditions will stun the move. The M6 linebacker short range air defense system was developed by Boeing to meet the US Army requirements. The new vehicle was intended to counter the threat possessed by low flying aircraft, helicopters, cruise missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles to forward armored formations. The initial production of linebacker entered service with the US Army in 1997. A total of 99 Bradley linebackers were ordered, however in 2006 these were phased out of service. In October 2017, Bayer Systems displaced an updated version of the Bradley M6 linebacker called the M Shorad Mobile Short Range Air Defense, equipped with a PMH air search radar mounted around the turret, fire control radar, a jammer on top of the turret to non-kinetically defeat unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. It had a 25mm chain gun that is dual fitted and had a standard rate of fire of 200 rounds per minute. It could fire a variety of ammunition including APDS-T, Armory Piercing Discarding Sabot Tracer, HEIT, High Explosive Incendiary Tracer, and APFSDS-T, which is Armored Piercing Fin Stabilized Discharging Sabot Tracer rounds. There is also a 7.62mm M240 see machine gun mounted actually however the main gun got replaced with a better one with an ax 914 30 mm auto cannon with airbus rounds and the missile launcher that could accommodate various missiles including the stinger am 9x sidewinder and others the current production of stinger missiles are the rmp reprogrammable microprocessor fim 92d and the block i fim 92e it has a dual mode infrared and the ultraviolet rosette scan seeker it is 1.5 meters long and 70 millimeters in diameter and weights 10 kilograms at launch with a 3 kilograms he frag high explosive fragmentation warhead maximum speed is mach 2.2 and range is 200 meters to 4.5 kilometers it's based on the m2 bradley iv and is equipped 
with a quadruple launcher with FIM-92 Stinger. It is worth mentioning that linebacker uses components of the Avenger air defense system. Explosive reactive armor kit can be also added uh, if required. So basically it can be a bit buffer, different design, similar features, similar gun, probably better gun than this one. First gun that it had, it was 200 rounds and now it can be even higher than 566 0.05 rounds per minute which it can go close probably to 24k damage per minute just with the machine gun i don't know a presumption uh, as for the penetration rounds and so on yeah it can have the same penetration or even higher due to the fact that it's a, a new tank also it would be nice to have him as a progressive tank and not as a premium tank we need a lot of tanks to to make sense in this game i'm a person that really likes to have more grinding in the game than paying a lot of more premium tanks to have it will help us to do missions we will get rid of tokens you have tokens as some of you i cannot use these and can be useful to make it more interesting to have also the the squad not just 480 squad let's make it five to be 580 squad such as as21 and it can be possible uh stealthy can help also this um this tank uh, linebacker this m6 linebacker it can help also as for the tank itself guys, um, what do you think about the M6 linebacker? Should be introduced or not? Should be a premium or not? Should be progressive or not? Should be a tier 10 progressive? Um, tell me in the comment section and uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.